Hi there, I'm Oliver from Mark3D UK, and today we're looking at the Markforged FX10. Now this 3D printer is quite special because it can print metal and composites, but in this video we're going to be focusing on the composites, how to load them, and how to start a print. There are timestamps in the description so you can find what you need, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of our 3D printing stories and guides. Let's get started! Now, because the FX10 is an industrial 3D printer, it has a set of four spool bays, like its bigger brother, the FX20, and it'll automatically change spool if the first one runs out, with no human intervention required. Each of its bays can hold an 800cc spool, and that means you can keep 3,200cc of material in the machine ready for large prints. So, to load a spool, start the workflow on the touch screen by pressing nozzle A. Press load material, and then choose the spool bay that you want to load. Then choose the type of material that you're loading, and then press partial spool, even if it's a new spool. Now, we do this because each spool comes with a little bit of extra material for purges. So by selecting partial spool, you're going to get every last cc. Next, you need to weigh the spool, find the end of the filament, and cut it at a 45 degree angle. This angle makes it a little bit easier for the extruder to catch the filament. Next, take the desiccant packs that came in the material packaging and put them into the spool bay. Make sure you only use the desiccant packs that came with the fresh spool, and make sure you throw away any old ones. Then you can place the spool into the spool bay, and take the end of the filament and feed it into the pre-extruder. Then you'll need to enter the weight of the spool into the workflow on the FX10, and you'll be asked if you want to load or preload material. Now this is for the automatic material changeover feature. If you press load, it'll load the material straight to the print head, but if you press preload, it'll prepare the spool for future use. This is the first spool for us, so we're going to press load, and the FX10 will detect that filament in the load tube and start to pull it in automatically. While it's loading, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of our 3D printing guides. Then the printer will preheat the nozzle, purge some material, and it's ready to print. It's worth noting that the metal loading process is very similar to this, and you can see us loading metal in another video, there's a link in the description to that. So, next we're going to be looking at loading continuous fibres. For those who don't know, this is for the continuous fibre reinforcement ability that's unique to Mark Forged 3D printers. Simply put, it takes a continuous strand of carbon fibre, Kevlar or fibreglass, and carefully irons it into the part, cutting it exactly to measure. With this kind of reinforcement, you can actually 3D print parts that are stronger than aluminium, and there's a free design guide in the description on how to do this. At the time of recording, the FX10 can print in continuous carbon fibre, but more materials are constantly being added. So, let's load some carbon fibre into the FX10. On the touch screen, press nozzle F for fibre, and then press load material. Then select the type of material you're loading. In this case, we're using carbon fibre. Choose the type of spool, and then press partial spool. Once again, we're doing this to make sure we get as much fibre as possible from the spool. Then weigh the fibre and enter the result, and the FX10 will tell you to close the visor. This is so that it can move the print head out of the way for us. Then the screen will direct you to open the visor again and start feeding the end of the filament into the load tube. The fibre extruder will then start pulling the fibre in and take it all the way to the print head. The FX10 will then ask you to check that some fibre has been purged from the nozzle properly. When you press done on the touch screen, it'll trim off the excess. With that, the fibre is loaded and you can see how much fibre is available on the touch screen on the nozzle. Now let's start a print on the FX10. Using your web browser, open the part in Eiger, which is Markforged slicing software. Click print, select the machine, and click print now. And that's it. The material settings will all be taken care of by the software, and the FX10 will get on with the print. It's fast and precise too. The FX10 can print to a layer height of 50 microns, meaning that the layer lines are barely visible on the prints. It also prints significantly faster than its predecessors, and even when compared to other filament printers, it's on the high end for speed. If you'd like to have a free sample or a live demonstration with the Markforged FX10, you can use the links in the description to get one. You can also find information about the machine and the materials that it can print with down there. You can also tell me what video guide you'd like to see next in the comments. Thanks for joining me in this video, and here are some others that might be interesting to you.